This is Susan Bradley for AskWoody.com, and this is Tasks for the Weekend, January 30th, 2021. Not too long ago, I used to recommend using the feature release deferral setting of 365 days with the thought process that not necessarily I would wait that long, but it would give me time to schedule when I wanted to do a feature release. Well, now I recommend a different setting called Target Feature Release Setting. Now, there's several ways to do this, and I'm going to showcase each style or way. So first off, we're going to showcase Windows 10 Professional. And Windows 10 Professional has a local group policy, and it shows up in either 2004 or higher. So in 2004, you come down here into the local group policy, and you want to see you go into Computer Configuration, Administrative Templates, Windows Components. You come all the way down to the bottom for the Windows Update section. And specifically, you're looking for Windows Update for Business. And I'll scroll this over so you can see it. And you're looking, you click on that Windows Update for Business section. And you want to click on where it says Select the Target Feature Update version. You double click. You enable it and you set the version. So in this case, I set 2004. If I wanted to do the next version, I do 20H2 and so on. So I'm going to put it back to 2004. Then you click apply and then you close the group policy and you're done. The next one is doing registry editing. Now sometimes you probably heard is like, oh, don't touch the registry. Oh, you're going to mess up the computer. I feel that if I know and can follow along somebody telling me where to go, I don't think this is a problem at all. And so let me show you what editing the registry looks like. So to get here, I've clicked on the start button and in the search box, I've typed in regedit and I've launched this registry editor. And the hardest part about this is just knowing kind of which section to go to. And so what we're looking for is what's called H key local machine. So we've expanded that. Then we look for the category of software. Then we look for policies. We come down here to policies. Then we go under Microsoft. And then we look for Windows. And then we look for one called Windows Update. And as you can see here, we've got target release version. And it's a reg D word of one. And then for the target release version info, again, here's our number value. 2004 means we, st we will only be offered up 2004. So if we're already on 2004, we won't be offered up the next one. Or if you want the next one up from that, let's say you're on 1909 and you want to be offered up 20H2 and you want to make sure you don't get that next one after that, which is coming up pretty soon, you can change that to 2004. You click OK and then you close out the registry and that's it. Now the next version is finding some place online that has built a registry file that you click and install in your system. And what you do is you find someplace reputable because you don't want to obviously download from any old willy-nilly site. And you can also, hopefully they, they posted up what's inside the file so you can look at it. And you click on it and it inserts it into your computer. And I'll show you what it looks like. These are called registry keys. The file extension is .reg. And when you open them up in Notepad, which I highly recommend you do before you install them, as you can look and see the structure, and it always starts out with Windows Registry Editor. And it, again, here's that registry section you talked I talked about. HK Local Machine, Software, Policies, Microsoft, Windows, Windows Update. Here's the target release version D word. And there's that info. So we have 20H2 and we have 2004. And then when you click on these reg files, it'll actually prompt you with a UAC prompt and you insert them in your system. And you'll see they look like this, just an REG and the little icon will look like the registry editor. And you'll double click on them 
and it'll pop up a UAC prompt. And then what you do is you say yes to add the information to your system. And it'll indicate that it's been added to your registry. You just click OK and you're done. You can also download a batch file from the 10 forums that does it automatically for you. Now obviously you want to double check and make sure that um, you s understand what this file is doing. But then you can click on it and it'll run a little batch file on your system. And you can see the, the information from the 10 forums right here. You can download that file. So it's asking me to specify the feature version update that I want. And I'm going to put in the version number Two H two, then I press enter, and it's indicated that it's done it properly. Now, if you're smarter than I am, you can also build your own batch file. But do you get the idea? There's lots of ways to do this to set that feature release version what you want. So that's the tip for this week. Patching will be flipping to DefCon four late Saturday, early Monday. Businesses should have deployed updates already. Until next time, this is Susan Bradley for AskWoody.com. Have a great week.